Cervical cancer is a serious disease which affects around 67,000 women in the WHO European region each year. However, the majority of cervical cancer cases are avoidable if we vaccinate against HPV, because cervical cancer begins with an HPV infection. HPV is an acronym for human papillomavirus, which is very prevalent and which is spread via sexual activity. In some women, the HPV leads to an infection which may cause dysplasia, a kind of abnormality on the cervix. And dysplasia on the cervix can over time progress to cervical cancer. When you are vaccinated, your immune system is capable of combating most of the types of HPV which can cause cervical cancer. The HPV vaccine is very thoroughly tested, and many large studies have shown that the vaccine is safe and effective in preventing dysplasia and cancer. One of the studies to test the vaccine was conducted like this. 16,947 girls who were not infected with HPV were randomly split into two groups based on a draw a group that received the vaccine, and a control group that received a placebo which did not protect against HPV. 8,487 girls received the HPV vaccine, 8,460 girls received the placebo. Two years later, none of the girls who had received the HPV vaccine had any dysplasia on the cervix. Among the girls who had received the placebo, 53 girls had dysplasia on the cervix. Another two years later, two of the girls who had received the HPV vaccine had dysplasia on the cervix. However, among the girls who had received the placebo, 112 girls now had dysplasia. The studies also considered the risk of unwanted reactions to the vaccine. The conclusion was that the benefits of being vaccinated against cervical cancer far outweighs the risk of any unwanted reactions. Since then, many other large studies on the HPV vaccine have been conducted. Studies have shown that the vaccine is very effective and reduces the risk of cervical cancer if you receive it before you are infected with HPV, that is, before you become sexually active. Talk to your doctor to know more. On the websites of your national health authority, you can find more information about HPV, including the possible adverse events following immunization.